from Africville. It is what it is. It is what it is. What is it? We're doing a documentary called Storm from Africville, which outlines the um, historic black history. I mean, it's, it's not even just black history, it's um, historic Canadian history that's um, somewhat underrepresented within like the school curriculum um, and just general knowledge, because a lot of people don't know about Africville. And that was a community that existed from um, 1750, and it was destroyed by the government um, in the late 60s uh, for some kind of quote-unquote revitalization uh, process. Africville was like destroyed, people owned the land, they were taxpayers, the government didn't provide running water and paved roads for, for Africville. Um, they had their own school because schools were segregated in Canada, and, and people don't, don't know about this. And right now, Africville is, is now renamed Seaview Park. But we didn't learn about this in schools, you know what I'm saying? This is like a, a chapter of history that was left out. Well, we feel that like a lot of this knowledge is missing throughout the curriculum, so we go around to schools and we bring this kind of information to the schools or wherever we go, like whether we're in Toronto, Montreal, Halifax, Vancouver, Edmonton, it doesn't matter. Wherever we go, we, um, we bring the knowledge with us, and uh, that's pretty much how we're involved in the pitch contest, you know what I mean? At the end of the day, man, it's just dope that there's an opportunity that um, people can, you know, have a chance to like further their, their dreams, you know what I'm saying? Because a lot of times the, the option isn't there and it's hard to like, you know, manifest that. So that's what the manifesto is about, manifesting people's dreams, you know what I'm saying? One piece of advice would be uh, next time to make it a little more inclusive of the types of artists, but that's okay. Um, no, no one's perfect, none of us are God, you know what I mean? But big up to artists like Big Head who didn't get to perform. He's a spoken word artist who's in a wheelchair, but when you hear him spit, none of that matters, man. That guy's fire, you know what I mean? And the reason why I'm, we're stressing Big Head is because he's a spoken word artist in a wheelchair, and it breaks the down the misconceptions of what an MC looks like, you know what I mean? Because when people think of an MC or an artist, they think of a certain look, a bag of jeans, uh, someone who, who can walk, or, or you know what I mean? Like, if you see an artist in crutches, it's like weird, you know what I mean? Why is that, you know what I mean, when it's really about the art? So I kind of feel like he definitely should have had, had a spot in here. The last thing would be the cause and the manifesto hip-hop artists shouldn't have been separated because hip-hop is the cause and it's one movement. So for next year, let's stop separating the movement. But yo, mad love to manifesto, mad love to everybody putting together. Peace, love, blessings, and nothing but success to you. We empower young people by letting them have a sense of self-belonging in this country. After all, it is painted as a multicultural place that our curriculum does not reflect that and that disempowers a lot of young people and when you don't feel empowered and you don't have a sense of self-belonging you end up pissing on the staircase part of my language Last time, did the pitch contest. Now we're out here, you know, promoting our merchandise, our movement. You're gonna see us perform a little bit later, and that's what it is, man. You know what I'm saying? Just represent Toronto lovely. Big up to all the people involved. And you know, like we said before, man, like hopefully next year can be more inclusive, and you know, ho hopefully we can show more of a diverse uh, representation of the artists throughout Toronto, man. So, but big up regardless, man. You know, it's good to see people coming together for a common goal, man. StormFromAfrica.com, man. That's what it is, yo. It's all about uh, real music, a real community cause. We gotta bond all this tokenism and we gotta do this together as a people, man. I'm probably sounding like a broken telephone to a few people out here, but listen up, man. In the most multicultural city in the world, our curriculum does not reflect the multiculturalism. Tell a friend, tell a friend, tell a friend. When people use the word community, you gotta really mean community, not yourself. And hopefully that's what this event's about. And we're gonna see in the end, things are going good. We gotta build together, man. There's too much colonialism, too much tokenism, even in the hip hop community what itself, it is, man. Born the colonizer, all that's what it is, man. Promise. So to, you know, manifest that inclusiveness, we're bringing up artists that should've been on the bill, you know what I'm saying? You know, there's still, you know, certain artists that need to be represented, man. And promise you, Puzzle, 
It's one of them definitely, man. So you're gonna drop a little something for you real yeah, quick. Yeah, one time before you even do this, big up to some of the artists that didn't make it on the bill. They should have. Big up Wasan, big up uh, Hench Minati, big up Motion, big up Quanches, Junior Young T. Cat, Junior T. I'm down to earth, got so much soul. Sometimes it hurts that I'm no not home. You know how it goes, I had to slow my roll. Cause I was told that I shouldn't go that road, whoa. These MCs speak like I'm not around. Like I ain't promised them I'd give them a hotter sound. Full time rap here is out of style. Cause you ain't doing it unless you're from out of town. Wow, speaking the truth is not allowed. You reaching the youth? No, not in our town. It'll never happen. So please sag your jeans and stop all your clever rapping. I got a hip hop soul and I flow jiggy. It's no biggie, but how could the whole city forget Pac's gold? No, really, it's so silly. Is everybody still very Pillsbury trying to get that dough? Get that grown video vixen. If you don't, then you won't get your video listed. If you don't got a video, them kiddies won't listen because the media is feeding it and getting your system. I told you a million times, the city is mine. Really, I'm a government shareholder. You crazy, Jay-Z? The next man out on Def Jam South when the trouble is here over. Up north, brothers struggle to get older. And the border gives us trouble to get older. Hip-hop classics just rock gold. But to me, it don't matter what hip-hop sold, I'm a blow. Hip-hop was my first birthday gift. They usually go to studios to nurse they gift. Y'all work day shifts, so worst case is, I make more cuts, get a first day kit. They hurt they lips every verse they spit, trying to be better by the web, by the letters and words they switch, but what they speaking holds no meaning, so the people at their shows don't show no feeling. Yeah, we so don't feel them, so we say, DJ, don't wheel them. And he say, we so don't need them, but the roof's on fire and so's the ceiling. I'm the fireman flowing and they should hire them. Keep my record spinning every second like a tyrant. Boy, I wonder if I put up numbers to the day I retire, will they say that I'm fireman? MySpace.com slash promise music if you want to hear the hottest music. Stolen from Africa. When we say community, we mean community, man. Mad Love, stolen from Africa.com, all day, every day. All day, rockin' SFA. Plantation music, acoustic grass, through it. You can't refuse it. We put in work to make the crowd go berserk. Put the hood, rockin' stolen from Africa shirts. I'm just glad that people are, um, Taking note of what we're trying to do, know that it's not just a t-shirt you're, you're supporting. You're supporting a cause, you're supporting awareness, you're supporting inclusiveness. Like Stone from Africa is not exclusive, it's not just for black people, it's for everyone. You know what I'm saying? Because like when people look at Stone from Africa, the first thing that comes to mind is slavery, but when you analyze a lot deeper, you realize a lot more things have been stolen from Africa, and then that's when like human rights come into play, that's when like the diasporas and all kinds of things, you know what I mean? Big up SFA all day, you know what time it is. Anytime there's success, there's always going to be static, man, but that, that's just how it goes, you know what I mean? We're out here for the people, for the community. It's not just about ourselves, it's not just about unknown misery and logical ethics. We truly represent the community, and people who know about us know that we, that's what we stand for, man. Big up to everyone who's been supporting. It's mad love, and we definitely appreciate the support, man. We don't take advantage of it, man, for real. Love. StoneFromAfrica.com, man. You don't know. Oh, yeah. Bun the colonizer. P, P, Black. YTL, you taking action, where my people at? Yo, P, P, Black, YTL, you taking action, where my people at? Yo, yeah, fist up, yeah, fist up, yeah, read up, lift up, fist up, yeah, fist up, yeah, fist up, yeah, read up, lift up, fist yeah. up, yeah. Pick up a bloodstained banner with a chant of my anger, the passing of the torch banner, illustrating two stanzas, one foot, one boot, and the message is abuse. Overseas, they stand true. Got gang ready to shoot. Televised, westernized, devil's pie. Morales rise, keep a level.